In the course of human history, powerful rulers have relied on the blood and bone of soldiers to collect their pound of flesh. From Sargon of Akkad to Barack Obama, from Charlemagne to Vladimir Putin, powerful rulers have counted on the sense of adventure, duty, honor, and loyalty of soldiers to give of their hearts, their minds, their lives, so that nations might be strong. When loyalty, when passion for one's king or kingdom was not enough, they offered glory, gold. And so, through the ages, millions of soldiers have stepped forth for glory, for honor, for gold, for duty. Millions died on the battlefields, littered with the offal of war, carcasses, mangled humanity choked with mud and blood turned black under the beating, harsh sun of war. Millions more were mangled, hacked, trapped in prisons of pain and debilitation, hobbled and broken. They became dependents on the kindness of others, dependents on drugs, machines to attempt to give them a shade of what they once were before the bombs fell, the bullets flew, the blades cut. Millions also were felled by their own demons, having come face to face with the potential darkness within. Placed in a culture of death, where life was a notch on your helmet, or the ghost of a friend killed too soon, too soldiers became and were consumed by the dark potential of the human soul. A compassion undone, unsettled, shattered from within. These soldiers would face the shadows of the brutal killing fields where silhouettes of slain enemies and friends broke through their halcyon drift. All for glory, for honor, for gold, for duty. All for the king, the kingdom, the strengths of a nation. Our soldiers our boys, our girls, our men, our women are scattered across the ends of the earth from Germany to Iraq, from Japan to Afghanistan, on guard or on the attack, as occupiers, invaders, or sentinels for distant lands. How many more are destined for death? How many more are destined to kill? How many more are destined to be broken? How many more are destined to inherit the shadows of the brutal killing fields? For America? For honor? For gold? For glory? For kings? For the interest of those who control the gold and wind up the machines of war to defend it? Our boys, our girls, our men, our women, are useful pounds of flesh to this cabal of gold, nothing more. Our wars bring holocaust, misery, enslavement, economic bondage to the cabals of war, nothing more. No nation is served by our presence, including our own. For throughout human history, there has never been empires, kingdoms, nations worthy of the hearts, minds, and souls of our sons and daughters. Bring our sons and daughters home, America. Sacrifice no more to your cabal of gold. Bring our sons and daughters home, America. Your empire serves no one but the cabal of gold. Where once we were soldiers, let us be no more. Let us be fathers and mothers, sons and daughters. Let us live in peace, not war. Take to the bloody fields of death on your own 
you kings and presidents. Be your own sentinels, zealously guarding your gold vaults. Take our sons and daughters no more. It is time to stop repeating the course of human history. It is time to stand up and say, soldier, no more. Not now, not ever again. Our blood, our bones, are ours and ours alone. We are soldiers no more. It's time, time to bring our soldiers home.